It was both incredibly like exciting, but also very, very nerve-wracking. Like, I'm, it's the only time I've come to playing someone and being a fan of theirs at the same time, so that's sort of quite intimidating. But, um, but you know, luckily Al is an incredibly kind, sweet, and very generous with his time. So like he, and he's very patient because I'm a, I'm a slow learner on the accordion. So it was nice that he was patient. I, I did get the jitters a bit, but it was a little less pressure because it wasn't a Madonna biopic. So, and I, and I knew it was a comedy, so I could have a little um, fun with it, I a little mean, more playful. But I, I did want to do her justice, and so I watched and, uh, a, a lot of the, videos, you know, a lot of interviews from the early 80s to try to get the voice right, to try to get the mannerisms right. He's not just funny, he's actually a really amazing musician and singer. I, I knew he was beloved, but I think I really underestimated just, just how loved he is in the comedy world and by people, and so it's been cool to be around. Well, this is only my second movie, and I don't think my first one was ever at a film festival. And this is, uh, because I'm premiering here, I'm going to say it's the best film festival. And uh, particularly Midnight Madness, because uh, the audiences for, for Midnight Madness, from what I'm told, uh, are absolutely insane. And that's the best kind of audience for this movie. Well, you know, I, when I first started out, I didn't think that I'd have like a 40-year-long record career. Like, in fact, nobody wanted to sign me because they thought, oh, you do novelty music. You do this funny music. Like, if you're lucky, you'll have one hit. You'll be a one-hit wonder at best. And uh, uh, I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful that I've been able to like have a career and, and now like have an actual biopic because it's kind of blowing my mind. It's a good water cooler thing. Like, hey, did you know that like Daniel Radcliffe is playing Weird Al in a movie? It's like one of those kind of things that takes a while to wrap your head around. Uh, so, and, besides, and plus the fact that he he's absolutely kills it. He's like an amazing actor. The comedy, drama, he really nails the entire tone of the movie. So there's, there's literally not a single person that could have done this better than Daniel Radcliffe.